Mamma mia, another video. <laughs> so today we've got a an Xbox One power brick, which is not working. Well, it's just flashing an orange light here. I think you should be able to see it. If I try to power on the, the Xbox, it just dies. So I'm sorry guys, uh, no spaghetti jokes today because uh, I bought one of these and well, if you get them from Italy, eh, well, I had to sell all my spaghetti. This is actually a pretty easy to disassemble power brick. We've got these uh, rubber pads covering the screws. Just gonna take them off like this. Kinda poke the hole through that one. But yeah, so we do, you do this to each and every one of them. But, before we continue, I actually haven't pulled the plug yet. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna pull the plug, and then I'm going to power the Xbox on. Okay, it's not, okay, there we go. Now that I've done that, the capacitors should be pretty much dead in here. And it's actually a good thing, because you don't want to get shocked by a power supply. So these screws are Torx 9, so you're just gonna, I might have over tightened them when I reassemble this. But yeah, anyway, just wanna take them all off. And then it's actually pretty easy. Just gonna lift this up. And the plastic thing fell off again. You're gonna want to desolder this plate. So my soldering iron is actually having trouble melting that because it's a lot of thermal mass so I'm just gonna see if I can give it some juice give it some more juice I mean I guess 300 was never gonna do that so I'm gonna do 400 and I'm gonna do the old trick where you get something on here let's see okay this is going much better now There we go. So that's off. Then we gotta do the other side. There we go. And we got this off. So there is actually a fan header here and you want to remove that. Just pull it, wiggle it a bit. Eventually it's just gonna come off. There you go. Then we've got the board here is assembled and let's take a look so when I first disassembled this I immediately noticed three issues these three capacitors well they're swollen they shouldn't be no capacitor should be swollen like this so now what we're going to do we're just going to desolder these and I actually have some replacements ready so here's how it's gonna work I'm gonna grab the offending capacitors one by one 
And then I'm just gonna desolder them while pulling on them. I have identified the leads which are from the capacitors. So that isn't really working out, so I'm going to use the hot air station. So I actually ended up having to use some flux because it's just not really working. Come out. Oh. So that's off. I'm gonna do it with the flux again. Just gonna mix some leaded solder into the joint. So it melts a bit faster. Let's see if it's going to work without the hot air station now. It actually worked. I was doing it wrong. I needed flux and more solder, I guess, for the thermal mass. Because you know, a bigger thermal mass is a problem to heat up, but it's also going to stay hotter for longer. So it allows me to jump from one side to the other very easily. And the heat is just going to stay there. Let's do it one more time. I'm gonna have to mix some leather solder again. So I can tell that it actually was a good idea to do that. Because it's behaving much, much more differently without that. So there we go. So now we actually have to remove some solder from the capacitor uh, end because otherwise we're not going to be able to put the new capacitors in.
you want to use clean braid so once it gets all tinned you just have to switch to some clean piece so here we go again oh god it got stuck why does this always happen okay so that worked and the, the last one now Well, not the last one, but the last one over here. So when it doesn't clean very easily, you just put some more solder in again. I know it seems counterintuitive, but you do this and then you just do it all over. So now you're gonna get the braid once more and re-clean it. And now if you think you can see that it's much much better. Same here. Much better, yeah. There we go, now it all seems much cleaner. And we've got the last ones. These ones are actually kind of um, hard. One of them is just next to a, resist to a resistor. You should know I'm actually pretty new at doing this. I'm pretty bad. I think you can probably tell. So this is why I'm doing the trying to fix. So maybe I can document my progress at becoming trash. I always wanted to be trash. There we go. Much better now. It's actually cleaning. Whoa, all the smoke. Okay, that's much better now. So let's see. Now, this, this side here is the negative side. And the black on the board if this were a green board it would be white is the negative so yeah just need to stick that in get it all in there so now that I've got them all in what I want to do is I want to lift them up and bend slightly so that it's gonna stay up against the board so I'm gonna do the joints now to the new capacitors actually need to bridge the, the resistor to the capacitor that was not a mistake it was already like that
then you absolutely want to trim the the legs of the capacitors because they can cause trouble otherwise and then I'm just gonna touch them up a little bit again just to round the cut that I just made you might have noticed that it actually cleaned the lead that was on here and I actually don't want don't have to I must I must not do that because these traces are actually thickened with solder and they have to stay that way so if you clean some of it you must fix that I, I think we're pretty much ready now to reassemble this but first we need to clean all the flux that we've got on here Got my good old syringe filled with alcohol of IPA. Just gonna. This is actually pretty much full of flux now. Okay, that should be good. Now it's time to put it back together. seems to be working I don't know why the light is not white I don't know why the light is off but it seems like it worked so it seems like it's working fine I put some tape over there because you don't I don't want you to see this guy and yeah uh, I fixed it so this was actually a successful fix it was actually my first blind fix ever like a, it's the first time i open something up without researching and just find a problem and fix it i hope you learned something and thanks for watching this video and if you like the channel please subscribe and i guess next time we'll have spaghetti see you